Hey guys, what's going on today? Today I wanna to just show you how to graph two sets of data on one Google Sheet. There's been a couple issues that students have been having and especially when we are trying to add more than one independent variable, it becomes really difficult because Google Sheets does not allow you to add more than one independent variable or the x-axis. So I'm gonna take this data here. This is just a distance versus time graph that I do with my students. And I'm gonna show you how to graph them on here. And with my AP kids, I also have them find a collision point of where these two cards converge. So I'm gonna show you how to just use this data right here to make these two graphs. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we are gonna to want to list all of our independent data. So all of that data is gonna be the data that's on the x-axis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight, copy, and paste. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my data from my other cart, I'm gonna highlight, copy, and paste directly under it, just like this. So I have one title, and then I have all my data, including my zeros. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna label what I'm gonna have in my legend. So for example, I have a slow cart, and I have a fast cart. Now I'm gonna put borders around this because I'm a little OCD. So I put some borders around that like that. Now what I need to do is I need to put in what's gonna now be my dependent variables. And what that is, is I'm gonna highlight the distance, copy and paste right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other data, even though it's the same, I want it to relate to this long list of independent variables. I copy and I paste. So now I have my Y axis aligned with what I want their X axis to be, but they're gonna be in separate columns so that I can sort them inside the data chart. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert chart, and it comes up blank, right? Because I don't have any independent or dependent variables listed. So that's the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do. If you do have some plots or some data on here, that's fine. All we'll have to do is just remove them from this X axis and series over here. First thing I'm gonna do, I want a scatter chart. So this is going to be a scatter chart. Nothing's gonna change yet. My X axis, I'm gonna click and it's gonna give me select data range. I'm gonna make sure I take my title as well and I'm gonna click and drag right to the bottom. Press okay. Nothing changes yet because I don't have any Y information to relate to that. So what I need to do is I need to add series, hit this little waffle, click and drag for my slow cart. That's gonna add some data there. The next thing I wanna do is I want to add some more, hit the waffle. Now with the fast cart, don't just highlight the data. Start at the top table here, drag all the way down, even through these blank cells, and press OK. So right here, you'll see your data. Sometimes it'll automatically have your fast cart, slow cart with this legend. If it's not, you're just gonna click use row nine as headers, and then it's gonna label your slow cart and fast cart, and this makes sense. The fast cart is gonna have a steeper slope. The slow cart's gonna have a smaller slope. Now we can come in and put some more details into this particular graph. So once I'm done with my setup, I'm gonna to go to customize. First, I'm going to go to title and access. I'm gonna add my, uh, my title. My title is just gonna be my dependent versus my independent. So that is gonna be distance versus time. I like mine in the middle. I like to bold mine, italicize it, that's fine. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna do my horizontal axis. This is time. Don't forget that you need units and that's gonna be that. Then I'll go to my vertical axis. I'll do the same distance. Make sure it has a unit. We're good to go. And that's all the labels that I need for this. When I go to my series, now here's where I can add tread lines. I can add the tread lines of this line. Just clicking them, boom, they come in. I wanna show the labels and show the equations of these charts. That's wonderful and that's all I need for that. In my legend section, here's the only thing I really do with the legend. The legend is a slow cart, fast cart. I like this on the bottom. It's really personal preference, so I throw that down onto the bottom. And that's really it. Now you have a chart, and you have y equals mx plus b here, and y equals mx plus b here. Now for this particular lab, distance versus time, when I do distance or position over time, the slope gives me velocity. So the velocity of the slow cart is 0.14 meters per second and the slope of the fast cart gives me the velocity of the fast cart, 0.26 meters per second. Now what happens if I wanna find the collision part, if I take this fast cart and I start it at four and have it converge back to position zero, 
where will they collide? Here's how I do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my entire chart and I'm going to copy. I'm going to come right down below it and paste. So essentially I have the same exact data from right here. So if I made another chart, I would get this exact same chart. But I want to change the initial position on my fast cart and I want this to be four. You can either come in here and do four, 3.5 and do it like that. The easiest way to highlight this, sort range, descend and column F, and it'll just flop that around for you. Now I'm gonna do the identical process that I just did. I'm gonna insert a chart and I'll show you, I'll go through it quickly to show you how easy this can be once you know what you're doing and once it's not really that hard. Once again, I'm gonna talk through, scatter, add X axis, data range, okay, add series, waffle, including the title, comes to here, okay, add a series, waffle, the entire chart, including the unknown cells, done. Now we see that they are going to collide. I have it automatically here. That's good. I can go to customize. I'll skip doing the titles and everything just to save you some time. But I do want to go to series. I do want to go to tread lines. Now we see this intersection point. Now we don't know the exact intersection point. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the equation of the lines. I know that these X's and Y's are going to be equal because this is an intersection point. So I can take y equals mx plus b and y equals mx plus b. I can set these two lines equal to one another in this particular lab. I can solve for x. That is going to be the time of collision. Then I could take that x time and plug it back into either of these y equal equations to find out what the y intercept or the y collision point is for this particular lab. And I think for this one it came out to like 0.9 when I did the math and 1.4. And that's how you do that. Once again, guys, I would do the same process I did up here. I would put my axes, make sure everything's labeled. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of time. But that is how you can add two independent variables to one chart on Google Sheets. Hope that helped, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If it did help, please give the, uh, the video a thumbs up.